Hi everyone, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. This is 25 Plus Life and today we are coming to you from Charleston, South Carolina here at Patriot Point. We're going to take you into something I'm actually pretty pumped about seeing. This is the Vietnam experience here at Patriot's Point. Something that uh, should be pretty interesting based on the reviews that I've seen. So we're going to take you through, we're going to show you there and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Let's do it. So this here at the Vietnam Experience brings you through like a mock-up base. Um, pretty cool. There are some, uh, as a disclaimer, some sound effects, lighting, so on that uh, does go off here. If you're sensitive to that, you just might want to know that ahead of time. On that, uh, continue going through here. River Patrol Force in Vietnam. The mission to intercept Viet Cong arms shipments on the waterways of South Vietnam's Mekong Delta. You have entered a defensive bunker during the Vietnam War. You are about to experience a night attack scenario during the Tet Offensive. Put this down! Put this down! Call him back! Call him back! Here is a basically is a bunker, um, and basically it simulates what it was like being in an attack in that bunker during that time. Um, it's pitch pretty black. Pitch black. It is uh, really intense, um, but definitely something ch worth checking out. Uh, but here we're just going to walk over here, and we'll show you some of the uh, vehicles of the time. This here looks like a medic unit. A Jeep ambulance. Pretty cool. Not a joy ride you want to go on, but pretty darn cool nonetheless. And here would be the uh, helicopter as well. Army. 
this here would have been a little easier. This is a seahorse. Everything here is in immaculate condition for the uh, for the age of everything that's here. It's pretty remarkable in how they've done this and put this together. But a more over here. Back into here. We're entering the Caisson Combat Safe. President Johnson has ordered us to hold Caisson at all costs. We're surrounded by 20,000 DC and NBA regulars. We're being hit by constant artillery and rocket fire. You are about to experience the longest and bloodiest engagement of the Vietnam War. Report immediately to the command bunker. This here is the here in policy. This is one of those, that, at least for me, it's very hard to put into words, like, this grips you. There's, there's this a harsh moment of reality when you feel this. And this isn't amping it up for a video or anything like that, but this is probably, this is, this is as close as you're going to get to the real thing. And as so far many as, people that were drafted, like, had no idea. It would be just like us walking through going, right. oh, my God. You, you walk in, and, and we're, again, we're not, we're not military or any military background. So for us coming in thinking what we thought it was going to be, it immediately hits you how serious this was. Uh, Bureau number 154 uh, 009, which is Yankee Romeo 29, which is the one you have out here on display. My impression of flying in 1968 was that we did about 40% uh, troop it. 40% resupply, another 10% would have been doing But the attention to detail here, something I want to point out, they're down to bamboo all around and just the the nature of everything. It, it reminds me of pictures that I had seen. Uh, my uncle had been over in Vietnam and the pictures that he had brought back from his time there. This is like surreal. It, it's crazy. But uh, this here. This is another uh, bunker unit. Do you want to do this one? This is definitely something that if you yourself for history uh, are into this, it's really cool. It's also a good thing bringing the youngsters down for just the sheer amount of equipment that's here for them to see an M42 duster on this side. Throughout this whole complex, everything that they've done, it's been remarkable. Uh, and this has blown away my expectations of what was supposed to be down here. But we'll cross back over here and go out and check out the mess hall and a few other pieces of equipment here. Report immediately to the command bunker. We're entering the Kazon Combat Base. President Johnson has ordered us to hold Kazon at all costs. We're surrounded by 20,000 DC and NBA regulars. We're being hit by constant artillery and rocket fire. 
Now these here. For those of you in the RV community, is here, latrine. This is like a uh, big communal pit toilet. Uh, just stuff like this, mm. stuff like this just alone, the the lack of things that we take for granted every day is what blows me away. It's, it's something as simple as a latrine and, and how much you take for granted every day of what you have. It, it's it's amazing. Uh, is this sick bay? We'll head in here. And this is uh, Hopefully that comes across the camera. But it's a uh, basically an operating room. Hello. And what these hi uh, what these soldiers would have had to go on through. And this basically this simple structure would have been an operating room. Crazy to think that. And here. The guard tower, and we'll go up here real quick. Just to get an idea of what this was like and what this would have been like to look over your base. And this would have been your view. Crazy. I'll hit that guy. Yeah. And there's Carrie. This here. This is the mules. This is a little simple machine. Use the ball things back and forth. And the PX. Post exchange. Now this is the bin. You get your mail, your provisions. This gentleman here will hook you up with uh, some Hershey's. Pack of smokes, some Coke, Dr. Pepper, and, and all important, Mad Magazine, some Playboy magazines from the time. <laughs> Just uh, gotta have some stuff. <laughs> and then heading down here, back side of this building. You are a long, long way and this and there is no Jesse Cafe in town on Washington Street. Well, we can oh, sitting coffee with our hands right. on the street. So you can pour us. Yeah, come over here with the Cobb Shack. That's a Communications of the day, which it's crazy to think all this gear and how much this weighed, and we're walking around with cell phones. So, you know, two decades later, we'll go into the mess hall and show you what a cafeteria would have been like. And again, would have been all your place where your duty roster was posted the menus which was like grits for breakfast peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch supper you would have a beef patty and at midnight you had peanut butter and jelly sandwich oh. and it ranged from pears to cookies for lunch uh, cool. green beans for supper cookies pretty raw and the USL shows what a bad major league uh, ball players visit 
Uh, Shall you tell him Miss Alabama's visit? Master Rules. Authorize three bills in a 24 hour period in this facility. Uh, rations to be drunk, base supply, personal only, so on and so forth. Yeah, pretty, pretty limited. And uh, we will head down here. As we exit, there's a couple of pieces of equipment over here I want to check out. So normally, this is about the part of the video where we'd be giving our opinions on two thumbs ups and two thumbs down and whatever. We're not even going to do that here. I think this was uh, way more than what we expected it to be. Uh, our, our admission tickets, which included aircraft carrier tour and this, uh, was only $27 a person. Uh, and it really is something that you could spend the majority of your day doing uh, and very well thought out. I, I can't think of one bad thing to say about this place, so we're not even going to bother at that point. Uh, we're just going to say at this point, uh, let me show you the Marines here and the Navy copter over here. Uh, if you are active or no longer active military. We thank you for your service. It was a pleasure for us to be here. Yeah. Um, and again, a lot of... Uh, it's very eye-opening. Yeah, a lot of things that we didn't know that from our perspective was just kind of mind-blowing. Uh, it's definitely something... If you're in the Charleston, South Carolina area, you definitely want to check out. Highly recommend this place. Definitely worth it. That's it. I have nothing else more I can say. So from there... Yeah. We'll see you uh, next time.